Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Wednesday the 10th of July, the local media headlines today. How exactly is Cornwall going to become carbon neutral by 2030? Well, maybe we won't. Maybe the goalposts will be shifted to 2050 instead. Cornwall Reports was first with the detailed look at how they're thinking at County Hall, recognising that all electricity generation needs to be free of carbon while at the same time shifting vehicles to electrical power. Housing, business and agriculture are all in for a sharp shock if we are to limit global warming to only one and a half degrees. Also at County Hall, a busy day yesterday with protesters having to be thrown out of the public gallery for not following correct procedures and actually interrupting the councillors while they were voting themselves a significant pay rise. This never looks good at the best of times and when it's done just to reward party political discipline, it looks even worse. The Falmouth Packet was among several media to report the major incident at Truro's Royal Cornwall Hospital. Now this was not just one incident but far too many, putting such pressure on the emergency department that hospital bosses had to ask patients not to come in unless their condition was critical and choose alternative services where possible. The BBC reported calls for more beach patrols in Newquay. The Buden Stratton Post tells us how two local men have just published a book together about their walking adventures. The Cornish Times looks forward to a Poldark exhibition at Charlestown on Friday and finally Cornwall Live prints a picture you might have seen before. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.